Today's video is sponsored by KiwiCo. Check my link down below to get 30% off your first month of any crate. Hey Greens, we are back with our favorite Real Littles handbags and Real Littles backpacks. And these Real Littles mystery boxes are so fun to unbox. For those of you who don't know, Real Littles has made everything from lockers to Real Littles roller cases, Real Littles journals, and they're basically miniature versions of things that we're familiar with, such as stationery, stickers, pens, pencils, and overall decoration type stuff. If you can't tell, um... We may have developed a little bit of an obsession, just a little bit, not too much. And at the popular request again, thanks to you grains, we found more of them. I think this is the last ones that I could find. If there's any more that you'd like to see, feel free to put peer pressure on me in the comment section because that's what you like to do. You like to pressure me in the comments. It's okay. I know it's out of love. But honestly, I am super excited because we have one of them at least I've seen everywhere. I was like, I need to get my hand on it. Here's the lineup. We have four new ones that we haven't tried from the Real Littles bag collection. The first one is a gamer person type vibe, pastel gamer girl-esque. Next we have the lip, which I feel is going to also be a hard case, but I'm not sure if I'm going to like it or not. And then we have a bunny. Oh my god, look at the little floofy tail. And then we have a blue bag with sparkles. I don't know why this one looks like the least interesting of the bunch. Let's not judge. Stop. Let's not judge a book by its cover. Although I actually really do. Do you judge books by their covers? Literally, I, I really look at the artwork of books. If I don't like it, I'm like, meh, meh. Let me know in the comment section below. And if you're new here, make sure you subscribe because I love having you around. Click on all notification while you're there. This sharp pointy thing is definitely not a threat. All right, so first things first, let's see what kind of special edition is in each one. So here we have the gamer kind of aesthetic, and it just says six matching surprises in each bag. So we don't get to see what the actual contents are. Interesting. Because in previous ones, we've actually seen the possible contents in each bag or handbag. And we also don't get any kind of limited edition item. Again, weird and interesting, and also oh, weird, but why is it all weird, weird and interesting? It's kind of like me. I'm weird and interesting. <laughs> it does have a best before date. So is there something that we can eat? Maybe? I don't know. How about you, lips? What are you? Oh, you see, there you go. This one actually tells us a list of possible... Is that, oh my God, a baby Polaroid? I want a little baby Polaroid. And the limited edition <laughs> diamond ring. I don't want to stop. I don't want to do diamond rings again. Stop it. We've done the mini brands mini fashion. I will not stop until I find a diamond ring video if you want to watch that. <coughs> you can see how much money I wasted on that video. And then we actually did the real littles diamond ring. That was a guarantee. You can watch that video too. I will link everything down below. And as you've seen, those were the thumbnails. But apparently we can actually get a real diamond ring. Very interesting. And then the bunny is similar to the gamer aesthetic, which doesn't tell us what we get on the inside. So these two are really surprise based. Okay. And this other one, okay, same thing. Interesting. So these have the same items on the inside, so it's a surprise which one we're going to get. By the way, these are impossible to find. The extremely rare impossibleness of them makes it so that I need Ace of Clay, my friend, who is an amazing, talented artist, to send these to me. So if you are interested in checking them out, I will also link them down below. But now, the question is, do we start with group A or do we start with group B? I'm gonna flip a coin. All right, if we get heads, we'll do group B. Actually, we should do it the other way around. Group A is heads, so the ones that we know what's on the inside, and group B is tails. Flip it, what are we gonna get? Tails, so we start with the ones that we have no idea what's on the inside. Okay, you know what that means? I'm just gonna move everything kind of over to the side. I'm actually really curious if we're going to get the real diamond or if we're going to get the little Polaroid. Please, I really want the baby Polaroid. It looked so adorable. Look at it, it's so cute. But let's start off with the bunny and for the back of it, we really don't see any kind of hint of what we can get, neither on the sides. Oh, maybe on, oh, look at you. It's on the side. 
Okay, so we can get stickers, headphones, not sure what this plastic thing is, lip balm, notebook, and a real working pen. Why does it say, what will you find? Are they random or is it a guarantee? Uh, you know what? There's only one way to find out. By seeing what we get inside. So on the front of the box, really tiny by the way, very very small, S-M-O-L, small, you can see that it says six surprises. We see a notebook, a little pouch, a lunchbox, those are adorable. Oh, and we do get the little pen, so I'm guessing maybe these are guaranteed, the things that are bunny themed, my guess, I don't know, but look at it, oh my god, it's so tiny, look at the little tail. The little ears, oh, they're so soft. Oh, we know how I feel about soft things on my face. Get your mites out of the gutter. Because all it is is just soft, floofy things I like. Stop it. But honestly, the differences in textures feels really nice. We have this softness of the actual bag, and then we have the floofiness of the ear, and kind of also poofy fluffiness of the tail. It's kind of bouncy too. It's very pleasant to the touch, if I might say. We don't get these straps, so I feel like these are probably the old editions because usually what we do is we have this little clip that you can put on your backpack or your bag so that you have a decoration and something to put your lip balm kind of things in. But let's let's just open it and find out. Oh, that's that's very scratchy. All right, let's not look. And the first thing that comes out, ooh, oh my god. We have this absolutely superbly done, like it's a little pouch. I want to call it, it's, it's a pencil case. This is the word I was looking for. I got so excited, I can't talk. And you can see all the different kinds of bunny. We have happy bunny, holding bunny, peach. And then we just have bunny with peach on head and yeah, just a variation of all of these. And it opens Ziploc style, so you can put whatever you want on the inside. Quite like it. Next. <gasps> is that the lunchbox? Oh my god, yes! We have an adorable lunchbox. I'm not sure if it's a lunchbox because it has these things at the bottom. Do lunchboxes nowadays come with these? I don't know. Okay, let's open you. Do you, do you open? Hello? Oh, there you go. Ah, okay. We have a really adorable bunny lunchbox. It could also be a case, I guess a suitcase or a travel case, since it has these stands over here. But I'm gonna pretend it's a lunchbox, because imagine tiny sandwiches on the inside. Oh, I wanna make a tiny sandwich. And then, oh, the notebook. This theme is adorable. Holy carp. So far, Grains, if you do see this, probably one of my favorites. This notebook is also really old school looking because I don't think they make that many notebooks with the tip kind of a different color. You could put your name and info and then here it is. You get lots and lots of little pages. Look at that. And then, oh, I feel something big in here. Oh, look at that. Look, you need to stop thinking in the gutter. If I say I feel something big or something soft and squishy, you gotta stop it. We're mature adults here. We're very mature, very mature. <laughs> we have the stackable pencil. Look at that. The bunny faces are <laughs> so cute. We have the happy face, neutral face, and sleepy face. This is what it looks like. I'm also curious, how many of you have this kind of pen where you come from? Because growing up both in Egypt and in Canada, we've had these. So I'm wondering if it's international or universal. And yeah, you can remove them like us all. Oh my gosh. There we go. And you can stack them in any order that you want. So if I want to put sleepy in the middle, I could put sleepy right in the middle. There you go. The only downside to these is you can't sharpen them. So kind of one time use. But I mean, these are, these are nice. Do we have anything else? Oh, I feel something. A bag charm. Oh, is that a shaker charm? It's a shaker charm. So it's a bag charm that has glitter inside that moves. That is a shaker charm for those of you who didn't know. So look at that. Here's the glitter upside down and inside out. We can move the glitter here and there. This is entertainment for hours. Who knew this could be a fidget toy? <laughs> And then I feel, is this a sticker sheet? No, no. Stickers! No! Oh, bunny, I love you. This is really good. I love this bag. Holy shrimp. Okay, let's see what else. I 
fill one more item and it is okay the clip there you go so there you have the clip and with this clip you can put it on your bag or backpack and you can put your lip balm and things like so things that you want easy access to very cute and here's everything that we got in the bunny backpack this experience was just so much fun and everything every single item was properly themed to the outside of the bag i'm going to give this experience a 10 on 10. wonderful if you greens are huge tactile learners that means you like to learn while doing things then today's sponsor is perfect because it is kiwico kiwico creates a lifelong love for learners and inspires little ones to see themselves as makers. So whether you're looking for something interesting for you or a little one, check out all the different kinds of subscription boxes that they have. Everything from Panda Crate for the itty bitty ones to Maker and Eureka Crate for grains like me and you. And they even have Yummy Crate, which unlocks the science of cooking. I would have loved this so much as a little grain because it has family friendly recipes with hands-on steam activities. You know what? Let's make something. A walking robot. Step one, body battery. Oof, magic. Now let's add our battery pack. Oh, this is exciting. And the wire is in. Now we put together the different body parts. Let's assemble the whole thing. Ooh. And now it's time to see how well it walks. Oh my God, this is so exciting. And button on. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Not only do the boxes come with everything you need, and I mean everything you need, the instructions and the booklet that comes in there sparks inspiration and furthers your curiosity. So what are you waiting for? To unlock the gift of learning and core memories of quality time, check my link down below, kiwico.com forward slash nerdycrafter to get 30% off your first month of any of the amazing crates they have. That's kiwico.com forward slash nerdycrafter. Thank you Kiwico for sponsoring today's video. And now we have Pastel Gamer Vibe. If this is anything like the previous box, oh my god, I gonna fall in love all over again. We don't usually give 10 on 10s. We've given low scores. In the trash. In the trash. And this one, we don't get any hints at the front. We just still see the bunny. Let's see on the side, nothing. In the back, still nothing. We do have an expiration date though. And on the side, again, it seems like it's the same thing. So we really don't get any kind of hints for the Gamer Pastel bag. So again, we gonna do it. And unlike the previous bag, this one actually is a hard case. We can clearly see the cute little pixel hearts. I love pixel hearts, whether it be from The Legend of Zelda Old School or made more modern in games like Spelunky. We also have a game controller, which is again, very reminiscent of a Super Nintendo controller, I believe. But yeah, it does have old school vibes, which again, makes me think that this here, Real Littles, knows how to go through all different kinds of audiences, not just little ones. And then on the side, we don't have any kind of texture, neither at the bottom, but we still have it at the back and top. It's a cute little handle. All right, and this is gonna be a clip, I assume. Oh, oh, that is weird. It's a... What? Okay, so it's a slip-on kind of... Hang on, let's... Oh my god, there you go. So it's a slip-on. That is weird. Not sure I like this design. And because it is translucent, it means our goodies are inside a baggie, which I'm not a fan of. I like taking things out of the bag directly as opposed to from a baggie within the baggie. But alas, let's do the doing. Oh, you're actually sealed? I don't think the other ones were sealed in previous videos. I don't think so. All right, we go open this one, voila. And our first surprise is, oh, what is that? <gasps> is that a game? Okay, I, okay, 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 okay. Now, this is one of two things, possibly. It could be a video game magazine or a comic book. I really like this superhero S, Su superhero S. I like this hero S hair, hair. Oh no, what is it in English? <laughs> Or it could look like this and actually be a game cartridge, but for all we know, it is tiny little booklet. Look at this, all the little pages. Yes, and it is much more bulky, which I like. It's much tinier. And here are the details in the back. Again, makes me think of comic book or video game or magazine for either of these two. Oh, that's so good. Okay, 
Okay, next one is, oh, two things came. Okay, hang on, calm down. <sighs> mini headphones and are they flexible yes oh my god these would fit perfectly for bjd if you have these smaller ones this is what a bjd looks like i'm guessing it's also good for a barbie size because they're pretty small i love these and the fact that they're flexible very nice and the thing that came out is a bag charm of a controller <gasps> oh my god now this i think looks closer to a playstation 2 controller with the little things over here i love the pastel vibe might just steal this from my own bag <laughs> and then no 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 is this a laptop <gasps> i got goosebumps oh my god oh i got goosebumps no! Seriously? We have a tiny laptop? Get out of here! Okay, let's see what's on the screen. We have a chat box. We clearly have a game going on. And possibly a YouTube video. And we have little icons of Real Littles and the Moose Toys logo. I love this! And we have the keyboard. Is it squishy? No. But look at that! It's an actual QWERTY keyboard. No. This is officially one of my favorites, if not my favorite. Let's keep going, but oh, oh my God, laptop. We got a laptop. If we get a cell phone, that's it. I'm done. This is great. Okay. My heart now belongs to this bag. I didn't see the entire thing, unless this is a can of tuna. This is a cell phone with game on it. Oh my. Gosh, no. Do we get a phone case? See, we have the camera and the screen and the button. Wait, do we get a phone case? I wonder. Let me feel if for anything square ish. No. I do. Oh, 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 oh. We have the phone case. In ya go. Heck yeah. Oh my god. This is speaking to my heart. For those of you who don't know, I do have a gaming channel called Raging Raccoon Gaming. Check the link down below. I love gaming on mobile dumb games, but I also do stream on there. So do check me out, and if you want to watch me stream gaming, you can also check my, check, check my Twitch. It has a Mahant. I love this. And let's see, I think other... Oh, 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 no, 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 no. no. <laughs> I did not expect that. So, first here's the clip. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, sure. A mouse! We have a mouse! No way! Even the details at the bottom of the mouse are there. We have the wheel. Does it actually connect? Okay, here you go! It does connect! So whether you're lefty or righty, you can have your mouse whatever side you want. <sighs> this is ridiculous. This is very ridiculous. I'm simping for this bag 100%. The only thing I don't like about this is the bag itself because I don't trust the fact that this is going to stay closed if it is a decoration on my own bag. This is the only thing. But as you can see, here's everything that we got in the pastel gamer aesthetic bag. This Real Littles really does touch my heart because if I were a little grain and I got this, I feel like I would have felt very much so represented, but we didn't get any of that. So I'm, I'm, I'm healing my inner child right now. My little child inside me is healing. If this weren't for the bag, I would give this also a 10 on 10, but because I'm not crazy about the bag and trustworthiness of it being a decoration, I'm gonna give this a 9 on 10. Now we're on to the second set, and this one more specifically lets us know what we can get. By the way, this is the odd looking sparkly bag and the lips. I really want that Polaroid, okay? Just give me one Polaroid and I'll be happy. However, it seems like we can get basically the same thing. Headphones and phone cases are very similar. The bag charms are always there. We have a tiny water bottle, a nail polish. I guess that's why, wait. Why was there an expiration date on the other ones? Oh, lip gloss. We didn't get a lip gloss, that's okay. Lip gloss, I don't, I don't care. You can see here it says lip gloss ingredients and it just gives you the best before date. So technically the surprise was the lip gloss. We can also get a coin pouch, a mini camera and glasses. Let's go ahead and start with the lips because I'm hoping things are a bit more lip themed. I don't know what that even means, but according to the front, it looks like there's lipstick and I don't know anything else that is lip themed. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, and will we get a diamond ring? Put your bets in the comment below. Who knows? Maybe I'll like the weird looking one at the end even better. I don't know. This is a surprise for you and not. is this more translucent type bag that is a hard cover and uh, we can also see that the inside is a baggie within a baggie again not my favorite kind of experience to unbox these but how do you open how do you open hello oh okay there you go so you just have to lift this a little bit yeah I really don't like this and this looks so flimsy I don't know I don't know how I feel about this okay I know how I feel about this I hate it 100% hate it I ain't gonna lie. I hate it. And here's the bag. There you go. Look at that. They were not sealed in previous versions, but let's... Why is there a baggie inside a baggie? What are you? Okay. So apparently the, the there's a baggie inside the baggie inside the baggie. Whoa. Here is our coin purse. Oh, it's like glittery on the outside. I don't find these particularly useful because there's not much you can do with them, but it does have heart, hearts and kisses, I was about to say. Hugs and kisses, XOXO. Does anyone still use that? Or is that a 90s thing? I don't know if anyone still uses XOXO. Let me know in the comment section below if you actually still do it. Because I haven't used that in forever. And then, oh, okay. I don't get it. I don't understand how this is a lip theme. We have the moon, stars, and Saturn? Saturn, is that you? <laughs> I guess. And a crown, and a gem. Very random, I don't get it, I'm, I'm not following here. You see the difference between these ones and the previous ones, how differently the themes actually match? I'm not liking this at all so far. Next we have, there you go, we have a bag charm lipstick. Oh, oh I thought this was soft, but it's not. It just feels nice. It's not soft as in squishy, but it, it does feel nice. Uh, a little bit of squishiness. It's a soft vinyl. Dan. Oh, here's the clip. This here is pretty big. Oh, the glasses case. Here you go. Still not kissy themed, but I do like the shape of these. And they do open. Voila. I love the shape. Oh. You said nothing. Voila. On the inside. In you go. Does it stay closed? Very flimsy. Anything else? Okay, yeah, here it is. And a hair tie. Oh no. Oh <laughs> no. This is useful. Anything else? Oh, a mask. Okay. This is actually cute for your figurines. Not for anything 1 12th scale, but I would say 1 8th and up. I like the tie dye. And uh, here's everything that we got in this package. The only thing that was lip themed legitimately is the lipstick, which is the bag charm, and the coin purse. The stickers, the glasses, the mask, everything just feels off. I'm going to have to give this experience probably ugh, a 2 on 10. By the way, I want you all to take note that I did not get a camera, okay? That's why the lips still are the worst. No camera for me. they make me cry. it break my heart. it ruin my day. Why you do this to me? I asked for just one camera. That's it. That's all I asked for. Just the one camera and you didn't do it. So all the pressure is on you, my little baggy. Because you do say that we can still get any of these cool things. Camera, phone, and water bottle. I'm putting a lot of pressure on you. You ready for it? I don't think I'm ready for it. Okay. Well, just be ready, okay? I'll do my best. Uh, yep. That's what I like to hear. It's all on you now. Oh, we could still get the diamond in theory. So here's this baggie. It is just, I don't know, compared to all the other bags that we've done, whether in this episode or in previous episodes, this one just seems extra dingy. Does that make sense? I think it does. It just seems very uninspired. Does the glitter move? Okay, at least we have the flap and the glitter moves on the inside. There you go. So the glitter moves. That, that's not too bad. Not too bad. Still entertaining. I can, I can, I can get behind that. And there's a little bit of a holographic effect to it. I don't know if you grains can see it well on camera, but you can see the holographic colors move. And the clip is on there. It's so inconsistent. I don't know what they decide where the clip goes. I don't know. Okay, ready? This is a clip. That's cool. I can get behind that. Very safe. Is that a baggie inside a baggie? No. Okay. 
So we can start unboxing now. I do feel a baggie inside a baggie, so I'm guessing that's the coin purse. Yep, it is. Wow, that didn't take long. <laughs> so here, let me remove my felt. Here is the coin purse. And again, this is pretty wide, so I don't find it as useful. And it is a glittery blue. Oh, okay. With some confetti, I guess. Still within the theme, sure. Next item is, oh, a nail file. Did they even show that? Give me a second. No, no. So nail file was never shown in the back here, but I guess it does say 30 plus surprises. So they didn't show the entire pool of items we can get. And usually they don't just put one nail filer. There should be a second one in there. Let me see if I can feel for something rough. And the answer is no. Okay, next, aha, we have the water bottle. Yes, that is cute. Does it twist? Does it open? Yes. So here's our tiny water bottle. Very cute. Again, way too big for 1 12th scale, which is the scale of figurines I collect. But I mean, it could be a bigger jug of water. Very nice. Camera, please. I need you. Okay, another set of headphones. I like the gamer one way better, but again, these are flexible and you can always paint them whatever color you want, as long as the cushions stay the same. Or actually, it depends. If you paint them, it has to be a very flexible paint so it doesn't crack when you do this. I said crack. <laughs> and then, what are you? Camera! Oh my God! No! <laughs> Oh no! You can press a little button. Oh my god, and it's a kitty cat. Oh, oh. it don't break my heart. I don't understand the theme, but it gave me what I wanted. But I don't get the theme. But that is cute. This is an interactive item on the inside. How wonderful is that? We get the battery area, settings, and the vi visor? I think it's the visor. And the kitty cat. You can't take it out. It's kind of stuck in there, which is good because then you won't lose it. But here it is, we get our little Polaroid. And I feel something little. Oh, another shaker charm? Interesting. Okay, so we have a bag charm that is full of confetti and it does move on the inside. I do like this, still adorable, very nice. I think that's it. Is there anything else? Nope, that's, that's about it. And here's everything that we got within this handbag. I really don't understand this theme to be very honest. I do see the bag charm matching the actual front, which is the glitter. I kind of see the coin purse, sure, with some confetti. But in comparison to the bunny and the gamer pastel vibe, and even the real littles backpacks and handbags, there's just something missing there. Despite the fact that I did get the camera and I am keeping this for myself, I'm gonna have to give this the same score as the previous one, minus the fact that we did get some cool stuff. You know, okay, you know what? A four on 10, because we did get the cool stuff. Let me know if you think my rankings are hard and if you want to watch more Real Littles unpacking, make sure you check up here. And if you want to watch something a little bit more fidgety, like a whole Cheyenne haul of fidget toys, make sure you check down here. Until then, I will see you grains in the next video.